What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's a free general collective reading for all signs. Cats are beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Appreciate everybody, um, all the new subscribers. Um, if you'd like to donate, type your sister 05. I, I'm not going to ask you for money in the comment section. I know the WhatsApp bandit people don't get in my comment section, but I'm just throwing that out there real quick. It's probably because I monitor it so well. But um, if you want to donate, there's a link in my description box. Everything you need to know regarding me and my services is in the description box. Just let you know. Okay. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Okay. So we're going to get into the reading. It's 3.32 p.m. 12.10 in 2022. Okay, so the first channel message I received was, um, I heard a water sign is about to move out of a city very soon. That's about to become very significant to many people. Um, so water sign, masculine and water sign. They're in their 30s. They're in their 30s. One's in their 20s. Okay, there's two of them. At least two. There's at least two. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine, or femme. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. There's at least two of them, but for some of you guys, it could be more than that. Um, one's in their twenty, At least one's in their 20s. At least one is in their 30s. They're about to move out of a city soon. Um, so whatever city that is and how that resonates and applies to you. Um, but it's about to become very significant to a lot of people, them moving out of one a city to either a small town or another city or what have you, what have you. Um, water sign energies, either in their 20s or their 30s. But they're about to move out of a city-ized, urbanized area soon. Um, that, that was the first one. The second one, I heard um, someone is about to move out of a home they shouldn't have been living in to begin with, extreme paranormal activity. They're going to leave the home completely trashed. And they're about to leave very quickly with no notice. That was the second one. So it could be one of these water signs. About I didn't hear it was the water sign. Um, the 20s or 30s water sign. It could be another sign. But somebody is about to basically just up. And they were paying no rent and no mortgage. They were, paying, they were not paying anything. Wow. That is, that is so disrespectful at its finest. Okay, so they wasn't even paying to live there. They wasn't even paying to live there. And so they're just going to up and leave like a thief in the night, except they're not even going to clean the home, disinfect the home, um, or do anything respectfully to put it back the way it was before they left. And they didn't pay a dime of rent or mortgage? How disrespectful is that? Wow, um, that is terrible. Um, whoever that is, I didn't hear a sign on that person. I feel for some of you guys, um, you know this person. For some, it might be you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But somebody's just about to up and leave. They're about to just up and go. I heard like a thief in the night, so very quickly. Except they're not gonna. I mean, they didn't pay any rent or mortgage. I'm assuming no deposit or anything like that. So they just feel entitled that they can just go up. And they're about to. They're just about to just freaking leave. And they're not going to clean the place. Wow. It is about to piss the people off that allowed them to live there. It is about to piss the people off that allowed them to live there. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure it will. Uh, I heard extreme paranormal activity. So, I think there's a lot of maybe ghost-like activity or spiritual activity or spirits or something of that nature going on in the home. Um, or has been. Um, but they were allowed to live there completely rent-free, mortgage-free, no deposits, no nothing like that. Um, that's very disrespectful. This, I've rented from a lot of places in my life, and I own this home, and I've been paying mortgage on it for five years. So I would never have done something like that in my lifetime. I'm 39 years old. I would have never done something like that. Of course, I've never lived anywhere rent-free or mortgage-free um, either. So, um, I mean, it must be nice, but this person, I think they just feel entitled just to, they're very entitled. 
They feel very entitled. They feel very entitled. They feel very entitled. I heard it's going to piss off the people that allow them to live there. So I think it's two or two plus people that has allowed them to live in this home. Rent free, mortgage free, uh, deposit free. Um, and they're not going to tell where they're going. And they're not going to tell where they're going. And they're not going to tell where they're going. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. That could be a man or a woman about to do this. I think some of you guys are about to see this manifest in 3D. I think you're about to see it happen in the world soon. Um, or you're going to know this person just about to up and go. How that resonates and applies. So we have two, at least two water signs, if not more for some of you guys, about to leave quickly out of a city. Some of these water signs, 20 or 30s, it could be this situation. For some, it doesn't have to be. And then we have this situation where, you know, they're not paying, blah, 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 blah. They're up and just going, feel very entitled. I mean, this is spoiled at its finest right here. This is terrible. And there's an eviction coming soon. And there's an eviction coming soon. So you plug in how it resonates, some kind of eviction coming soon. Um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to, but somebody's about to get evicted. Uh, how that resonates and applies. And someone's about to get a very large payout. They should have got it in the past from a company. Finally. And someone's about to get a very large payout. They should have got in the past. Finally, from a company. They should have got in the past. Finally. So that's a good one. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. But finally. So it sounds like you should have got it a very long time ago. But you're about to get it soon. Um, it's from a company you should, should have got a long time ago. Um, I'm sure that will help, sir or ma'am, if that resonates for you. And a Virgo and a Capricorn and a Scorpio is about to find out about, and a Gemini is about to find out about, about a very detrimental STD that they have got from a water sign fan. It is about to piss them off in a huge way. A Virgo, a Capricorn, a, um, who was it? Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and whoever the other one was. Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Gemini, Gemini are about to find out about a very detrimental STD they got from a water sign femme, Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme. Heard it's about to piss them off in a huge way. You shouldn't go around spreading STDs. Um, nay, 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 nay. See, that's the thing with me. So if I ever dated anybody, which I haven't slept with anybody in three years, I haven't dated in like five or six. But if I was going to, you we, we'd have to be having the hard question talk. Do you have any STDs? Can you go to the, uh, the public health department and get an STD test before we have sex? Because I need proof of your sexual health that is clean, sir, ma'am. I mean, like that is seriously what a, a conversation I'd be having over a drink or dinner with somebody. I don't care. I ask him the questions. And that's just the truth. If I was to go on a date with somebody, the, you know, these days, it's hit it and quit it and one night stands and blah, 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 blah. It's too murky. It's too manipulative. I would be one of the ones asking. I need a proof of your sexual health through a document from the public health department. That's just me. Of course, I know everybody does it different ways, but I'm not in the dating game. And the dating game is too murky. It's too murky. It's too player player specific it's too it's too nasty and that's how this crap happens um these people are about to be so pissed off these people are about to be so pissed off um they're about to find out soon capricorn virgo they're all masculines capricorn virgo scorpio and gemini masculine a water sign fem gave it to them cancer patient scorpio fem gave it to them and i heard it's detrimental so 
Um, it makes me wonder if it's like HIV or AIDS. And the thing is, if it is, and this person's going out there telling, you can't, listen, for anybody who doesn't know, if you have HIV, you cannot, you can, but that risk, it risks a lawsuit. You're not supposed to have sex with somebody if you know you have HIV or AIDS, because HIV turns into AIDS. If you have HIV, you're not supposed to have sex with anybody until you notify them that you have that you have it for to protect your sexual sexual health and theirs. But so people don't. Some people don't, and that's how you run into lawsuits. I heard detrimental. I didn't hear it was HIV or AIDS, but if it is, they would have grounds of a lawsuit on this person, especially if they're going around. If it's the same water sign spreading it around to all these men, that's disgusting. But if it's not, it could be some other kind of detrimental STD. Nay, 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 nay. That's another reason I don't date. And that's just the truth. And someone's karmic mother is about to ever regret messing with her. Ever regret messing with her. Her life is about to decline in a huge way. And yours is about to go up in a very positive way. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you have a karmic mother. So a karmic, karmic is anybody that doesn't mean well for you. So in this aspect, it's karmic mother. So your own bloodline or supposed bloodline, because I've pull, pull, been pulling in some of you guys that you think it's your bloodline, but it's really not. So however that resonates and applies. Um, uh, but she's karmic. Whether she really is your bloodline or not, she doesn't have good intentions or will or intent towards you. She's like blockage and stagnant and negative power moment energy is what I'm feeling. I didn't hear that, but that's what I feel. But anyways, she, I heard she's going to ever regret messing for, with you in the past. So I think she put blockages, delays, stagnancy, negative tower moments intentionally in your life in the past to see you suffer and um, to see you down and to see you suffer, basically. I didn't hear any of that. That's just what I feel. But I heard she's going to ever regret messing with you. This is past energy um, because her life is about to decline in a negative ways and yours is about to go up. You should always listen, you guys. I'm a mom and I'm a single mom and I've been a single mom for a long time. Um, and yes, I don't have full custody of my kids right now, but don't mean I don't love them anymore. And that's just the truth. Um, I love them very, very, very much. And yes, they don't live with me right now, but it doesn't mean I don't love them. Um, and I did for almost a decade raising them by myself, but uh, almost a decade, not quite. Um, we officially got divorced in 2004, but I had them during the separation, like when I was in nursing school and all that. So I count that and that makes it almost a decade, but and we're in 2022 now. So my point is we went through a lot, but I always put them first, always put them first. And to this day, I would still always put them first. Um, it's just, they've been through a lot, a lot of trauma and craziness because my ex-husband is a karmic um, and his family are karmics. And my, well, I have a karmic mother too. So I get it is what I'm saying. And karmic family and a karmic older sister, but my point is, is, and I've helped those people in the past. I have helped, I took the ex-mother-in-law. She was having um, some kind of issues, medical issues. I took her to the ER like eight years ago. Uh, the uh, the ex-father-in-law uh, had a heart attack. We went and visited him in the hospital. Um, I had been there with those people. When COVID hit, I made sure I was asking them because, you know, my ex-husband doesn't live down here. Uh, he lives in a different city. I was making sure they had masks and they were okay because they only lived like 10 minutes from me. I have never put anything negative to those pe people ever in my life. Never. Um, and I just haven't. But yet they have come towards me. And that's just the truth. So, But I've let it go. I've let it go. They live their own life. I live my own life. It is what it is. Um, but my point is, is, whoever this is, it's your karmic mother. It's your karmic mother. So. She doesn't mean well to you, didn't in the past. It was past energy. But her life is about to start going down in a very negative way. Yours is about to start going up. So 
you plug that in how it resonates. A female karmic family member is about to be blocked from a teenager. Communication with a teenager through many series of shame events. It is about to shock her, and it will not come back. Well, good for if you're the parent about to do this, or however she's about to be blocked. Because that's the way it should be done. You go with your bad self if you're the one about to block this from your teenager's communication. Um, somebody's toxic, karmic um, family, female family member is about to be blocked from a, a teenager through many series of chain events. I think... You as the responsible adult, I think you're about to take action to block her from communicating with this teenager, as you should. I've had to do that with my crazy, toxic older sister before with my fe uh, female teenager, and that's just the truth. You have to do what you have to do as a responsible parent. But one one of you guys, it sounds like you're you have a teenager, um, or somebody you're connected to as a teenager, but somehow through many shocking series of chain events. She, her communication, she's the toxic female family member. She's been communicating with your female teenager or somebody else's female te teenager, but the communication is about to be blocked through many shocking series of chain events. I think for some, you are high vibrational beings and you're about to take action, monitor the chat, monitor the email, monitor whatever communication is going on here on the phone, I'm feeling, and block her ass. And you should. Like I said, I've had to do that with my own crazy ass older sister, toxic older sister with my female teenager. Um, and that's the truth. I didn't want to have to do it, but she was being inappropriate. So, you know, you have to do it, you know, you can't control others. You can only control what you do. And I had full custody at that point. And I was like, nay, 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 nay. Now, of course, now I'm not able to see the communication near like I was able to in the past, but kudos to whoever that's for. Because that should be done, it sounds like. You have to protect your kids. Because if you don't protect your kids as light side beings, who is going to? And that's just the truth. And for one, you're about to get a very shocking phone call soon. The truth. One, it's going to be on voicemail. One, it's going to be text message. One, you will answer the phone. It is going to shock the hell out of you. It's past truth. For some, you've been waiting on this for a little while. Some regarding your family, some regarding someone else's family. Shocking truth of either your family or somebody else's family, whether it's, and it's shocking, or it's for some, you've been waiting on it for a while, uh, whether it's text, phone, for some, I heard you're going to answer the phone, so an actual phone call, a text, or a voicemail, um, either your family or somebody else's family, but it's shocking, it sounds like you, for some, you've been waiting on it a while, so it sounds like it's coming soon, whether it's your family, somebody else's family, a text, a phone call, like, speaking or a voicemail it sounds like you're not going to answer and they're going to leave voicemail so you plug it in how it resonates wow And for one, there's about to be a shocking custody change soon through many series of chain of events. Children have been lied to. Police are about to get involved. The law is about to get involved. Truth is about to come out. Protect the children. Okay, and for one, there's about to be a shocking custody change. Children, sounds like two or two plus children have been lied to. Police are about to get involved and the law is about to get involved. So that could be legal or lawyers or just police. How that resonates and applies 
two or two plus children have been lied to, and there's going to be about to be some kind of shocking custody change soon through many series of chain events. It could be you, um, you're directly involved in this, or somebody else. But definitely police are about to get involved. Children have been lied to, so they've been mind manipulated in some shape, form, or fashion, which is terrible. You shouldn't do that to any children because that messes up their psyche. And that's just the truth. That doesn't breed healthy, copacetic, nurturing energy for children when you lie to them. And that's just the truth if anybody needs to hear that. But her police are about to get involved. Um, the law is about to get involved. So I don't know if that's police or legal or what have you, what have you. And a custody change is about to occur. And someone is about to get their rights taken away through many series of chain events. And someone's about to get their rights taken away through many series of chain events. Somebody's about to lose their parental rights, too, through many series of chain events. That sounds pretty big. All right. And a secret child is about to be made very public to a lot of people very soon. And a secret child is about to be made very public to a lot of people very soon. Some kind of secret child energy. Okay, I don't have any secret children, but uh, somebody out there does. I don't know how you can keep a secret child secret. I just want to throw that out there. How do you keep a secret child secret? They, I mean, what are you doing? Confining them to homeschool and they're never seeing anybody. They don't ever go to activities or go out to eat or, uh, or participate on ball or dance or whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean, how do you keep them secret? Are you, you're abusing them to the point they can't come out of a room or a closet? That's abuse if anybody needs to hear that. But I heard um, the secret child's about to become very public to many people. They don't, people don't know their secret, I guess, or that they exist soon. Maybe for one, you're about to learn about the secret child. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.